to Let's Play Bloodborne. Last time we did a chalice dungeon to kill time so I could practice the next area. This time we're gonna. <coughs> I'm gonna show you the path actually to get back to where we were dropped off after killing Rom. Um, because obviously you can forget how to get there. Okay, here we are in Cathedral Ward. Uh, this is new. She's actually gone off for a, a wander to get you more sedatives, which are important, so make sure you have those. But we're going to go up these stairs. Hello, crow. Boom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because um, we're going to go... Remember if you go up this way and you go left, you go up to Hemwick. You'll see what I mean in a minute. We're going to go right. You could have always gone right, but... Oh, that was a bit of bad damage. Um, I need to ditch my insight before we go to the new area as well. It's not like a world ender if we don't, but it will make it easier. So we're going to go back to Hunter's Dream at some point to... Uh, drop off that. The um, hunter, uh, the church guys that are up here have actually gone now. Don't know what triggers that, but those two are gone. <coughs> the ones that carry the crucifix weapons. So if we go this way now, we want to go... There's quite a few... Uh, they're called Wandering Madness, but Loot Beasts. There's quite a few of them around here, and there's a few hunters down here. So we are going to be ready for them. Where's that first hunter? Oh, there he is. Oh, I actually got the drop. This, this hunter is so annoying. It's got a rifle spear and it just spams the shotgun shots all the time. Oh, I managed to kill him pretty quick that time. Let's try and get the other one. These are hunters. These are threatening. <laughs> that one there took me a lot it got the drop on me and just kept shooting at me from range so it took a long time for me to get close enough to actually do anything to him oh nice dodge this one's got tinnitus and I'm gonna parry your ass boom yeah those two aren't too bad um, as long as you get them separately but if you get them together you're in you're gonna have a bad time <laughs> there's not much else down here. I, I dropped that way. You get bolt paper off that one, which is very worth doing. Uh, but you can actually run round this path, but you get spotted by the uh, by the, the hunters if you do that way, so I prefer to just to drop down. <coughs> <coughs> Anything of interest up here? Nope, not going to drop down there just to save the HP. Oh, sorry, I've got a bit of a blocked nose. A wee bit of a blocked nose. Alright, I'm going for a about a half hour video here just to get to the next area because there's like three areas we need to pass through just to get to the next area there's a wandering madness thank you I'll take the three shards off you thank you and then I think we got another oh I remember completely forgot that's not what we want to do you notice there was an executioner down there but what you might not have noticed, and I completely forgot about like three times, is that there's a load of snipers on the cliff. So you actually want to come up here and you want to follow these down. The items lead you there quite well. Some twin shards. Nice well place to get them early if you can get past those hunters. You can come here pretty much as soon as you get to Cathedral War, but the question is do you want to? Nice. So this is where those two snipers are. And I'll show you. 
Oh, fuck. I made a mistake. Go, go, go. There we go. This is <laughs> this is where we just came to uh, double back. I can't believe I fell down there. Didn't even notice that. Anyway, let's try this again. I'm just going to go straight for that. Apartment. Now that he's like aggroing on me, he's probably going to be facing up this way when we go there. And remember that the closer you are to them, the more damage that they do. So They can be very annoying when you're trying to get the drop on them and they actually know that you're coming. Okay, there he is. That was a good, inter lucky interrupt there. Alright, there's an executioner down there, and there's also a pair of wandering beasts down there. But first we just want to get this executioner. Pebble! Uh, not really quick enough. Thank you. I'm trying to learn the ranges to bait, to bait certain attacks. Right, what have you got? Some blood vials, nice. Right, we're going to run down here. And then go for these. There should be another one. Yeah, we've got both. Right, now we can worry about the executioner. Oh. Come on. God damn it. God damn it. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I like parrying executioners. I really shouldn't risk it. Anyway, so we got the two wandering beasts that we were after. One drops two twins, which is very, very nice. The other one drops two twins, so it's quite quite worth trying to get both of those. Take the blood vials, spend one of those. And then here we've already been. Remember we came out here and this is where you get dropped off after feet and rum. And if you go down this steps it takes you to the Yaha Ghoul area. Do we recall? We should. But we're actually not gonna go there. We are going to do something that I've been telling you not to do for a very, very long time. We're going to stand in front of this amygdala and get picked up. Yeah, we get frenzy, which does a lot of damage, but we don't die. That voice right there was Patches. Uh, he's like a recurring character throughout From Software's Souls games. Um, he's an asshole. Again, right. three insight for coming here. There's a lamp here, obviously. And we're going to continue on because we will, we will do this area. We'll do this area. In this window is Patches you can talk to. <laughs> joy it is to behold the divine it must be such a pleasure you're in my debt you know you're nigh on a beast of the field but here you are treading a measure with the gods <laughs> yeah patches can be a bit of an asshole are your feet as fat as your wits oh cease this dithering Take the plunge. Throw yourself to the wolves. <laughs> so where we are right now is actually uh it's called the lecture hall. And it's supposed to be like the the original school for the healing church. So I, I really like this area, I find it quite quite dark, quite dank. Not much to do though. There's only like two rooms with things in them. Can't open from this side. <clears throat> but uh, the, th the reason I like the uh, the lecture building 
sorry, I completely forgot what it was called. Um, it's just because it's a completely different looking area. Be careful when coming through this door because this guy's going to drop down. Yeah, they have these grab attacks, they're quite bad. These are like students of the lecture hall. They're quite creepy. Quite creepy. And that is, trust me, not the last we've seen of those. Speaking of which, how many? I've got four. And I'm also going to get sedatives ready. And antidotes. Where are our antidotes? Please tell me we have a lot of antidotes. I hope we have antidotes. Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Three. We need to buy some more antidotes. Now uh, we picked up a electrical key and the student uniform. So the student uniform is quite nice. And we can actually continue straight on through here. And that takes us back to this main corridor. But now that we've got the lecture hall key, we can actually go into, if I can find the correct pathway, it's here, yeah. We can go in here. But this is full of these students. Absolutely full of them. So we're going to kind of wait for them to barrel up on the door and cause horrendous frame rate issues. And just do that. Oh, that was bad. Can you three all die? Thank you. One left. Two left. Oh my. I've had enough of you. It's the beaker throwers. Yeah, the ones that vomit on the ground as such. There we go. I think that's all of them. I have like one HP left after me trying to hit them. Yeah, that little section can be quite harrowing uh, just because of their numbers. Um, there are a few students that do not join their friends. Ah, oh, and that stuff. This guy is apparently not even going to get involved. That's fine with me. And that's pretty much all there is to the lecture hall. Um, this is the room that we couldn't get in earlier with the door that was locked. And for good reason, because it hides a chest. And in the chest is an auger of Ribitas. Let's have a look at that. Where's that gone? Orgo Ribitas is how I remember. Uh, okay, it's a summon. It's never used it. It's an arcane thing. And then you can open up this door from this side. There's one more room which we have to look at. Just one more. Oh, sorry, no, two more. Two more areas. There's this door right at the end on the right. If you go through that door straight ahead, you end this area. And in here is another chest. And this holds some chalice items, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, red jelly. Red jelly is quite nasty. Red jelly is actually a, a stillborn called red jelly. It's kind of dark game. And there's, yeah. A guy up there in the ceiling. So we're gonna not let him fall on us. We'll get the drop on you, bitch. Thank you. Take the madman's knowledge you were guarding. And I think <coughs> that's it for this game. Uh, this game, this uh, this run. But and if you go through this door, open the door to the outside. You don't go outside, you go to another loading screen. It's a very, very short area, lecture building, first floor. And here we are at the Nightmare Frontier. First thing we're going to do is go back to the Hunter's Dream and ditch our insight because this area has frenzy enemies and we're 
also going to equip some poison resist stuff because there is a poisonous area through the nightmare frontier and the nightmare frontier is quite a long area so sticking on that rune for this area is not going to be too bad so we're going to do that here's our rune haven't changed these in ages so let's physical damage take you off and slow poison resist plus a hundred yeah looks good to me the frenzy resist is not that important and we'll take the stamina, what else we got? Communion, max blood vials. Let's change that. Oh, we didn't mean to do that. Uh, I want. I want, I want, I want. Um, what do we want, what do we want? Boost max HP by 55%. I don't know what one we want, and it's not really feeling the blood vials at the moment. Let's go for... yeah, max HP. Hooray! And then we can't upgrade or change... actually, we, no, we haven't. <coughs> that was the other account. I was thinking, oh, we've got loads of gems. I was like, no, that was when you were practicing. And we won't level up, but we're actually going to stock up on some antidotes. We'll take five of those. And... Uh, Molotovs. I could do some more of those. Nice. Oh yeah, we need to ditch our insight. We need to spend our insight, man. I don't know what we'll spend them on, but we do need to spend them. I always go the long way around to this shop. Um, do do do. What can we buy? We can buy twin bloodstone shards now. There's not much we can buy, so we're gonna buy. Uh, five fire papers. Five of those. Sound good to me? Yeah, insight reduced to 14. That should be more than enough. Or lowered enough, I should say, to not have to worry about it. Okay. Uh, that. These are now up here in the Nightmare Headstone, the lecture building of the Nightmare Frontier. So let's. Oh no, we've got to change our gear. We'll do that when we're there. Nightmare Frontier, let's go! Okay, Nightmare Frontier I know for a fact that the white church set has the best, uh, uh, what's it called? Poison resist. So we're gonna don on this. Not every enemy here is poison, but something I will mention is that there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of wandering madnesses here. Uh, this guy right here is the main enemy in this area, the Loran Silver Beast. And now he dead. There are a few. And you need to be careful because they are fine by themselves, but in packs. Man, these things are dangerous in packs. Uh yeah, I'm gonna fall down here. What have you got? Fireblood gemstone. Now uh, this right here leads to a uh shortcut. Or well, the shortcut back, anyway once we get through this area. I right, must remember, because there is two ways I'm supposed to go about this and I always go the wrong way. That's the correct way, right. There's another Loran Silver Beast here and one directly in front. I kind of want to get the attention to this one here. They're not that hard to parry either. Thank you. Uh, what you saw right there was a giant wandering madness and I just didn't want to mess with it right now. <clears throat> There's another Loran Silver Beast down there. That's the poisonous swamp as well. We're not going to go the whole way through this area, I just don't have the time. Yeah, I'm not going to get that one. The wandering nightmares do not have 
that much stuff that you need to completely worry about getting them all. Like it's mostly just single shards, so really don't let, don't beat yourself up about missing any of them. What we did miss, however, was an item which we can get with ease by going up round here and dropping down here. Lead elixir. Lead elixir and blue elixir are very useful through here. Um, blue elixir, the more useful of the of the set, but you can uh, make choice on what one you want to use. Personally, I don't use any because I'm an item hoarder. Right, this area, be cautious because there are hunters. There's a pair of them. Kind of want to get the attention of the first one, but I don't remember where he sits. Come on, where's the first hunter? Right, there's one up there. I think that is the first hunter. Come on then. I know one's got a threaded cane and one's got a hunter axe. Okay, he's got the he's got the hunter axe. Thank you. Oh shit, I've got them both. Alright, got one. The one with the threaded cane, I find it easier to parry. Although, whoa, okay, his fast combo can be dangerous. There we go. Just because the, uh, front wind up on that attack is there we go okay so there's the two hunters dealt with like I said I think the threaded cane one is a lot easier than the hunter axe just because he's easy to parry some more lead elixirs off these fools definitely hinting that you want lead elixirs in this game or in this area um, there are two ways to go you can either go straight down and through the swamp, which you don't want to do just yet. Um, we're going to go up here because there's actually an item. Very, very well hidden as well. There's actually a drop here. Very, very well hidden. You want to uh, jump and roll just to get across that, and then you get your item. And then you can get a look across here. Fading Lake is like a fire resist rune. You get a look across what we got to deal with. That's all poison down there. But we're not going there just yet. We are going to go get up both our weapons ready, drop down, let's try and keep this Laura and Silver Beast as our bitch for a moment. Yeah, they can swipe you very, very hard. So you kind of want to get in them and take them down. They don't have much poise though, they can be uh, knocked off balance quite easily. There's a This guy leads you to a, an ambush, so you kind of just want to ignore him. Ignore him go for this giant right here. Thank you. Those rocks are quite dangerous. There should be another one chucking rocks at us from around here. Yep. They're actually, they are quite easy to pack. Oh, rocks coming in. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, not bad. Yeah, once I hit, once I heard that rock go down, I knew I was safe to go out there and visceral him. And something I even missed on my other character is that there are bolt papers hidden around the back here, which is always worth going to grab some bloodstone shards. And I kind of want to reset that giant that's throwing rocks aggro range at me. Because I think the range on those guys is, yeah, phenomenal. And the worst thing is the, uh... Right, let's get this Loran's attention. Bring him down here. You gonna come down here? Can I parry you? Oh, I've got no bullets. Shit.
God damn it. There we go. Finish him off nice and quick. Didn't realize I was out of bullets. Okay, so once he's dealt with, we can go up past where he was stood, and we'll go around and get that final fight. It's, they're called Lost Children. I just call them big ass giants. We can go around and get that final giant who is causing us a bit of grief. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you're dead. Dead, dead, dead. Nice. So as we come up here, <coughs> there will be another one of those aggressive wandering madnesses. So let's see if we can grab them. You want to get around the side of these guys because they can't attack you from the side. But they are very, very quick to turn. Come on, let's get him. Yeah, you get twin stones for getting these guys. Yeah, three twin stones. It's very, very nice. I nearly got killed by one of those. And there's another wandering madness that <coughs> would lead you up here. And then this breaks. I have another shortcut. And this shortcut goes right back to the start. This is where we came and fought the first set of law runs. And there's that bridge we went under. And there's where we fought the hunters. And <coughs> Yeah, so this is just a mini shortcut. And we're going to go to the next clearing. And then end it off there. So... I always get lost at this section though, I always forget which direction I'm going. Here we go. <coughs> go this way and then take a sharp left. There we go, it's quite well hidden. And remember patches earlier that uh, caused us some pain? There he is on the wall. Yes, he is a giant spider. And yes, you can knock him off. I don't know if we can do it like this though, let's try. Pebble! No, it's slightly out of our range. A throwing knife would probably get there. But. Even if you knock him down, his event still plays. But we won't trigger his event just yet. And in fact, we're going to end off here and continue from here next time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And we'll try and finish off the Nightmare Frontier. Ciao!